Oh yeah, so y'all know from my last video, I said whoever guessed who ate the couch first, I was gonna send y'all free exotic friendship boutique cast. So shout out to my boy, I am Matt Vouche. I think that's how you pronounce it, but he was the first one to guess it. So hey, hit me up, DM me, let's get it. I got you. YouTube, YouTube, what's good? This your boy 247, one half, Exotic Frenchie Boutique. I'm back with another one. So, hey, look, let's get right into it. All right, y'all, so today we making mush. This is gonna be the pup's first time on mush. Um, so this is some stuff that we got. Hey, look, look who we got in the building today, y'all. Hey, y'all. So um, anyways, back to this. So yeah, we making mush, and we got some ghost milk, some pumpkin puree. This is organic too. This is 100% organic pumpkin puree. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of this is for the this for the big dog. I'm gonna do a little bit of raw meat because um, we try and keep them nice and plump and fat. But we do need the blender, babe. Where's the blender? At? So we need the blender. Oh, and we gotta get some kibble, and we need kibble. So if you're not doing raw meat, you basically need some ghost milk and or some um, some spring water or some distilled water. Pumpkin's Old cool. Faithful. Oh yeah, Old Faithful. Boy, we got this on Amazon mm -hmm. for like $19. And this thing is still here, baby. Let me go get some kibble, hold on. All right, y'all, so, and as, as y'all know, this is the puppy food that we use now, so you're gonna need some kibble um, and a blender. And yeah, let's get right into it. Oh, I got this other shit too that I don't know if I'm gonna use. Um, organic oatmeal. I'll probably throw some of that in there too. Keep it simple. Let's keep it freaky. For the first time. First time. Freaky first time. Who wants to be simple? All right. Ground lamb. Our big dogs love this right here, by the way. This is from, what, what's that store called? Publix. Mm. Organic, baby. Wait. Well, I don't really see organic up there, but pasture fed baby <laughs> all right let's get into it all right so i'm probably going to use enough so i can make enough so i could have it something later um maybe a little bit more than that that is like let's see what that is right there is that ounces that's eight ounces so that's a cup that's one cup right there that's probably a cup and a half. All right, we're going to go with that. Bam, goat's milk. I actually like the canned goat's milk better. What? If you grind it and then add the goat's milk later, like in here, it's, right. yeah, it's okay. way easier. Let, let's, let's go with her uh, method. Because then you don't have to wash the blender. Right grind it up fine, too, because they, they don't really have teeth. They got teeth starting to come in. Hold on. But, um, so you want to make it, you don't want it to be clumpy at all. You want to make sure you get everything grinded up really good. Like sand almost. Not well, not a smoothie yet because it's still in dry form. But when we make it, yeah. But I'm talking about the, the dry mix. So, bam. It's like, almost like sand or dirt. No big clumps or none of that shit. And so now, to avoid making this all messy, uh... We're gonna pour it into here, bam. So that way now we can just rinse that out and it ain't got a bunch of milk and sludge and shit in there, feel me? Now we're gonna add some pumpkin and then goat's milk, which I forgot to blend up the meat, so I'm gonna probably blend up the meat in the water. And then, see, that's why, that's why, like I was saying, when you wanna do something your way, do it your way, because I knew it was a reason why, well, I wanted to do me? it all in the because now I need to blend the meat. That's enough. That's enough. I need to blend the meat. And sorry, guys, for this tutorial. Just skip past this. We're gonna get back to the regular steps. And yeah. All right. Nice, so now, so now, what's going on is you're gonna mix up the. You got way too much goat's milk in there. Yeah, so I now, know. what we going? What you need to do is mix this up is your perfect. your dry mix. Because it's gonna get thick. Remember. For sure, it is. Thank you. So this is perfect. All right, this is perfect. and you want it to be like. Not too much like, well, yeah, maybe because this is their first time. So you want it probably a little bit more watery. But we still got to add our, goat, our, our goat's milk to our to our meat because, whoa, 
Hold on, y'all. We just had a gimbal malfunction. We back. We back. Yeah. No, because you, you just... I'm good. No, look. All right. So, I'm not even going to use that much. Maybe like that. So, like a quarter of a pack, right? Because I don't want to overdo it for him. In the words of the toys. Mm. So, we going... I don't, how do you even get that? Come on, go, what are you doing? Mm. Mm. Then we're going to add the pumpkin in here. And we'll just add this secondary mix to the, to the, uh, yeah, to that. Thank, thank you for your... <laughs> All right, so now you got like a pumpkin smoothie. Beef smoothie. Ooh. 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 And now we just gonna see see how that shit rock up. Mm -hmm. So all right, you was right. I give it to you. Mm. When they don't so you listen, probably, probably and you don't that. even say nothing because you just let the proof be in the pudding. That you let the receipt look, speak for themselves. They look like pudding. Mm. Mm. That actually looks nice because it's got two colors. All right, so let's mix this up and check out the consistency. It is. Let's see if it's mushy and watery enough. Oh, they gonna love they this. They gonna make the weirdest faces while they're eating this for the first time. New flavors. Why oh, you got this little ass bowl? I know, right? That shit was that bowl you wanted. All right, so just get that good and mixed up. Yeah, this, mm. this should make us like a two feedings. Mm. Fat boys and girls. I probably need to make it a little more mushier. So we need something bigger. You probably, if this is your pup's first time on them, on. Hey, come down. Why does it seem like you just so. Because it's not balanced. All right. Because you got to work it. You got to use your thumb thing. But anyway, if this is your mm. pup's first time on the mush, you probably don't want it. And that's because it's meat in here also. So you probably want it to be a little bit more watery. All right. Back to, back to there. You just made me feel weird with your camera skills. <laughs> it's all awkward here. Yeah. So today we are uh, cooking in the kitchen with. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. This is how you make me feel. I uh, hope, boy, I can't wait to do my editing to see how it looks. All right, so now we got that in the bigger bowl. We just going to throw our ghost milk in there, or spring water, or distilled water. Whatever you got. This is a milky situation. But it's getting it pretty much what I need it to be. Alright, now I, I probably wouldn't suggest using that much kibble to begin with, unless you plan on storing it and using it for the next feeding, which I mean obviously isn't a bad idea. You don't have to make it again. Um what I probably do is I shouldn't warm it up though. I should have used some warm something so it's not cold. Um, so should we put it in the microwave? You think it's bad? They are gonna want it warm. Yeah, they're gonna want it warm. Make, make sure you use warm water too, guys. Or oh, he's to go. Or oh, heat the ghost milk up. Look, my tutorials. You kind of gotta pick and choose what information to take from them. You know what I'm saying? All the shit where it's like, uh, don't use that. Just get to the, <laughs> just get to the next part where it's like, all right, all right. Then put all that together and bam, you, you got a good DIY tutorial. And with the meat mush, I probably will only do the meat mush probably like two to three times a week. It probably it won't be. All right, I'll be back. She got an intro work call, y'all. All right, so, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep them inside of here so they're more contained and can't go all over the place as opposed to if we just put them out here and put the mush down. Normally, we got the little stack box I made. If y'all seen the old videos, you know what I'm talking about. But for this case, we're just going to use what they already be in, put some pads down, and let them go to work. What, baby? So 
So you got to kind of, yeah, just encourage them a little bit. I can't do both with my hands, but they'll start to get it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, fat boy, get up there. It's going to get messy. Just eat. Ain't not much eating going on right now, but uh, we gonna get there. Here. You like what is that in my mouth? I know. <laughs> oh, did you get some? Come on. Get so yeah, if you're trying to record, you probably gonna need someone else to help you. Well, come on, Panda. Um. And obviously, I can't use my gimbal right now because it's broken. They just over there licking away like, what is that? Now, it hasn't really registered to them that that's the food. That's the new food, baby. All right, let me help. I'll be back, y'all. Now, what I forgot to add, which a lot of people always add, I see, is Don which I have some, but I just forgot to add it. So if you got Don, throw some Don up in that drink. They kind of just having it. Oh, we got Panda eating on, on Panda. Eat. Right, we got Panda was just going in at it. She the first one. Boy, you still over there trying to figure it out. We got yellow. Here, you're happy. You like that here. Are you full? I'm going to kiss So glad we left him in here and not out. Right. <clears throat> I forgot how bad they get. Crazy babies. Ooh. Oh, good girl. Well, she's been waiting on this. She's like the milk in her style. <laughs> Come on, eat. Look. Mm. You want some? Have that. Girl. Mm. Look. Mm. You want some bad boy? Here. Oh, y'all yeah, gonna need to go wipe them. All right, let me go put some teeth. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna put this. They're doing good for first time. No, they're not. Yes, they are. They should be. No, they. I mean, granted, they don't know what they it don't is, know what's but going on. this is very first time. Bread has got it. Got it. Panda. Y'all better follow suit. Come on, Brown. I know Brown. I know Chris Brown hungry. Uh, so they pretty much ate all they was going to eat, which, which was hardly nothing. But it is their first time, so, you know, you got to keep that in mind. They made more of a mess than they did eating. So I'm cleaning them off right now, wiping them down, um, and then I'm going to let them get on Tsunami for, for a second. But the, 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 the plan is to wean them over, so they need to know that, you know, the milk is coming to an end. The milk train is coming to an end, baby. All right, so we got that done. We got they, they spot back, clean back out. Um, Choo Choo right here, about to, about to put them on real quick. Everybody chilling, I don't know what Red. Red, out, out of all of them, Red probably did the best. She ate the most um, first time on the mush. Um, they all they all got their fair share, but they gonna, ne next time they're going to understand a little bit better, and it'll be a little bit smoother, hopefully. You know what I'm saying? But... Um, yeah, everybody's all cleaned off. My bad, big boy. 
And yeah, they try and eat, so let me let me lay her down. But so as you see, they're very they still very hungry for for mom's milk, so that's that's the other reason why they like, what the hell is this mush shit? But uh come on, panda, get your ass up there. But uh yeah though. And another thing, as you notice, I don't got much padding laid on for them to be propped up on because I want them to be able to go and get it and be able to be somewhat independent. You know what I'm saying? And also make it a little bit more challenging or harder being that we wean it, we, weaning them off. So it, it needs to not come as easy to them as, uh, as it used to. Look at that. Here you go. Look at that green. You got some drip right there. So, yeah. So not as much, not as much cushion. You know, they, they got work to go get it. Um, granted, I'm gonna make sure they fed if they ain't gonna go get it, but I'm just saying, you know, they gotta have somewhat of a, a challenge nowadays, they getting older. The reason why I don't just leave them out here, I'd rather put Tsunami in there in there with them and she just chills as opposed to leaving them out here is because obviously I have way too much shit just that they could get into underneath the dresser, the fan, the dehumidifier. So until I get my playpen up, then, then, then they'll have all this area. But I'm gonna at least wait till they start, till they start full time eating mush, um, before I, before I expand their, their, their. You, they gotta earn it. Oh, come here, boy. You come here, boy. I'll be right back. And you know, always keep that aspirator on deck. But um, yeah. So they'll chill out here. Tsunami stay up here. If she want to go in there with them, she'll hop in there. If not, she gets, she gets tired of them pretty quick, actually. So. She don't really be with the shits too much. But, um, yeah. All right, so I wrapped that up. Um, another thing, make sure you clean up after yourself so when you come back for your next feeding, you got everything already ready in case you need to blend up some more blicks, blend them mix. Everything is already ready. You see, I got my my pre-mix mix um so you know it's, it's better consistency how i like it now um but if it if it, if it rock back up which it probably shouldn't you could just add a little bit of warm water as opposed to throwing in the microwave warm or hot water cleaning bowls everything back clean you got my pumpkin say that because you know i'm not throwing that away and as always you already know exotic friendship boutique make sure you like comment share subscribe hit that notification bell follow us on instagram follow us on facebook man uh, yeah, hey, look, we just we just reached a million accounts on on Instagram, so that was pretty big. We got we got a crazy video I dropped with Frenchy Ice Cubes. Um, that joint hit got got a million got a million joints on the, on the. Anyway, yeah, shout out to Desire Frenchy Boutique, man. You already know what it is, but um, yeah, man, that was our little video on the mush joint. Uh, next video, I'm about, when, when my lady get back, I'm gonna do another joint, and we going uh we going to do the pups. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to drop two videos today. Cause I'm about to drop this joint right now. So yeah. Oh, hold on, my shout outs. And if you made it this, if you made it this far, shout out to, shout out to my cousin, Tara Davis. Uh, she be holding it down for the squad. Uh, I be trying to remember off the top of my head without doing it. My boy, Lee Too High. Shout out to my boy, Lee Too High. And then, last but not least, we gonna go with my boy, Chef. My boy, Biz, in the mix. Chef with Biz or something like that. But my boy, Chef, Biz was popping. He always, since day one, one of my day one subscribers. So yeah, man, Zod from the Boutique. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, share, subscribe, man. All that good shit. I just said that, but I said it two times. So y'all do it two times. Peace.